This dentist, located in Austin, Texas, has created this page on his website for his dental implant service, and he is crushing it. It's ranking for more than 70 keywords in Google search results, which brings in a whopping 250 plus monthly visitors from people searching for keywords such as dental implants in Austin. To get the same results with paid ads, he'd be looking at a monthly bill of around 2,000 bucks. Ouch. Now, let's look at this other dental implant page for another dentist also located in Austin. This one barely scrapes by, ranking on Google for only two dental implant related keywords and surprise, surprise, doesn't bring any visitors. So what's the big difference here? Simple. The first dentist optimized his dental implant page for search engines, while the second one, not so much. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can easily make your pages SEO friendly so you can start climbing the Google rankings for tons of keywords in search results and attract local customers. If you're ready, let's dive in. Before you start building pages for your website, it's important to know what kind of keywords people are searching for on Google. This way you can make pages that align with their search queries. The easiest and quickest way to do this is by using a keyword research tool. If you don't want to spend money on one, here is a handy trick. Set up a Google Ads account. When you do that, you'll get access to a powerful keyword research tool called Google Keyword Planner. Don't worry about the part where they ask for your credit card information. When you sign up, they won't charge you. Once you've got your account ready, click on Tools on the left-hand side menu and pick the Keyword Planner option. Then hit the Discover New Keywords button. You'll be prompted to enter products or services related to your business in the search box. To keep things simple, I would suggest using the main activity of your business here, which in most cases should match the primary category of your Google business profile. Let's stick with dentist. Just before you click on get results, there's one more thing you'll want to do. Look below the search box and you'll see a little map pin with a default location. Click on it and a pop-up will show up with the default location. If that's not where your business is or if it's too broad, just remove it and type in the exact city where your business is located. Let's go for Austin, Texas. This sets the tool to focus on the demand within your specific city. Once you're all set, click Save and then hit Get Results. Google will not only show you how many times people search for your chosen keyword each month, but it will also suggest other keywords you should think about. Go through the list and pick the ones that match what you have to offer. Copy the list and paste it into a spreadsheet. We'll use it in the next step. Once you've completed this step, you can move on to the next part of creating SEO-friendly pages. Just like building a house requires meticulous planning, crafting a web page for your site should also begin with a well-defined structure. The layout of your page should bring together useful information to give users a great experience while at the same time incorporating essential elements to make it SEO-friendly. I know this sounds complicated, but I'm going to make it super simple for you. Start by picking one of the keywords from the list you made in step one. Let's say go with dental implant and add Austin to it because we want this page to rank for that location. Then head over to ChatGPT. If you haven't signed up for a free ChatGPT account, no worries, it only takes a few seconds. Once you've got your account, use a prompt similar to this one. Recommend the structure of a content page that needs to be optimized for SEO for a local dentist located in Austin, Texas, who wants to rank in search engines for the keyword Dental Implant Austin. Modify the prompt for your business by replacing the keyword with your own research results and the location you're targeting, and hit the arrow. And voila, in just a few seconds, ChatGPT will give you advice on the right page structure, including the key on-page SEO elements you should add. It will also suggest what kind of content to think about and give you a quick description for it. Your job now is to put all these pieces together. This is what we're going to look at in our next step. So you've identified the keyword you want to rank for and you now have the content structure recommendation for your page. While creating your page's content might seem pretty straightforward based on ChatGPT's suggestions, Let's go through it together to make sure you don't miss anything, especially if you're not an SEO expert. First things first, ChatGPT didn't give any tips on how to set up your web address 
for the page. The web address is an important SEO signal, so you'll want to make it friendly for search engines and include your keywords in it. For instance, in this case, you could use something like www.mywebsite.com slash dental dash implant dash Austin. The advice about the meta title is right on the money. I just add that you should always start your meta title with your target keyword since that carries more weight. If you want to squeeze your business name in there, stick it right at the end. For those of you who aren't sure what a meta title is, it's the HTML element that specifies the title of a web page. It's a crucial part of on page SEO even though it doesn't show up on the web page itself. But it really matters for how your page appears in search engine results. You can easily add the meta title to your page on popular content management systems like WordPress, Wix or Squarespace. The meta description suggested by ChatGPT is really good and I would be totally fine with using it just as it is. For those of you who aren't sure what a meta description is, it's like a short blurb that sums up what a page is all about. Just like the meta title, it's typically included in the HTML of a page and is not visible on the actual page itself. Instead, it's often displayed in search engine result pages right under the meta title. It won't magically boost your page's ranking on search engines, but it can make people more likely to click on your page when they see it in the search results. Plus, it's also easy to add it to your page in any content management system. ChatGPT's next suggestion is to think about using header tags on your web page, a pretty smart move indeed. Header tags act like the titles and subheadings for your web page. They're there to make your text look neat and well organized. Imagine them as the big headlines and smaller subheadings in a magazine or an online article. They help people quickly see what's important and what's less important. Plus, they help search engines figure out what your page is all about and how it's organized. You've got a range of header tags to choose from, starting from H1 and going down to H6, each with a different level of importance. As per ChatGPT's suggestion, the H1 tag in your header should ideally have the main keyword you want to focus on. One thing to remember is that these header tags won't show up on your web page like normal texts. They will make your page more user-friendly and search engine friendly too. Once you've nailed your page title and description and grasped how headers work, you can start crafting the content for those cool sections that ChatGPT suggested. I have to admit, as I went through this list, I was kind of freaked out about my job as an SEO professional. These suggestions are just so unbelievably good. From highlighting the dentist's expertise, detailing the implant procedure, showcasing client testimonials, explaining pricing and financing options, and more, every angle has been meticulously considered. If you take the time to craft each section in depth, you'll end up with an outstanding page that not only addresses visitors' needs, but is also finely tuned for search engine optimization. Now, keep in mind that these tips can vary depending on your specific business and the keywords you're targeting. However, a few of these suggestions will be universally applicable, and you might find some of them a tad tricky without a little assistance. Let's go through them. Google Maps Embed. Embedding a Google Maps widget on your page to show where you're located or the area you serve is a smart move. Unfortunately, a lot of business owners mess this up by picking the wrong map. What you want to do is embed the map linked to your Google business listing. To do this, just go to Google Maps and search for your business. From your panel, click the share icon and then choose embed a map. From there, you can pick your map size, grab the HTML code and add it on your site. This map doesn't just show your location, it also includes customer reviews, directions and your exact address. FAQs. Adding a frequently asked questions section is a must for every page you build. But here is the thing, many of you get stuck on what questions you should put in there. If that's you, head over to searchresponse.io and make a free account. Go to People Also Ask. Type in your keyword, minus location, and see what the most popular questions people ask in relation to your keyword. Pick the top five or seven questions and add them to your page. Include the answer, of course. Local Schema Markup. Local Schema Markup is a type of code that makes life easier for search engines to understand your business and help with your SEO effort. The good news is you don't have to be a coding genius to write it. Just go to a Schema Markup code generator like Merkle. Choose the local business option from the menu and fill in the blanks. 
The code is written automatically. All you need to do is copy paste it onto your site. Make sure to tackle all the suggested sections and then loop back to do the same for every page you create on your website. Before you know it, your phone won't stop ringing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, happy marketing.